Day 11. This is the prophecy. Daniel chapter 2, verses 34 to 35 and 44 to 45. You continued looking until a stone was cut out without hands, and it struck the statue on its feet of iron and clay and crushed them. Then the iron, the clay, the bronze, the silver, and the gold were crushed all at the same time and became like chaff from the summer threshing floors, and the wind carried them away so that not a trace of them was found. But the stone that struck the statue became a great mountain and filled the whole earth. In the days of those kings, the God of heaven will set up a kingdom which will never be destroyed, and that kingdom will not be left for another people. It will crush and put an end to all these kingdoms, but it will itself endure forever. Inasmuch as you saw that a stone was cut out of the mountain without hands, and that it crushed the iron, the bronze, the clay, the silver, and the gold, the great God has made known to the king what will take place in the future, so that the dream is true and its interpretation is trustworthy. This is the fulfillment of the prophecy. Matthew 21, verse 44. And he who falls on this stone will be broken to pieces, but on whomever it falls, it will scatter him like dust. Since the dawn of civilization, all of humanity has been ensnared by the ebb and flow of nations at war with one another. Throughout the Bible, numerous references depict nations overthrowing one another. However, God promised long ago that at an appointed time, this cycle would cease and God's kingdom would be established. Through the prophets, God spoke of a time when he would carve out a stone, or sun perhaps, the words stone and sun sound similar in Hebrew, that would come and crush all nations before it. This stone would become a great mountain that would fill the entire earth. This was the promise of God establishing his kingdom over all kingdoms. Jesus echoes this theme when explaining to his opponents that he is the stone that God has chosen, the son promised by God. Yet God's people rejected him. Now all who reject him, like those kingdoms, will fall and they will be crushed and scattered like dust or chaff in the wind. His listeners were faced with a choice, receive the king and his kingdom or reject him and face judgment. Today's Reflection As we reflect on the never-ending cycle of global conflicts with nations warring against each other, we need to stand firm in the hope of the unchanging king and his unshakable kingdom. Today, allow the promise of God's victory to anchor you in uncertain times.